Hey there. Today I am going to discuss the last one from the problem set 4 that is Bitcoin price index. Here is the problem statement. The problem expects us to create a file called bitcoin.py and we can expect the user to specify a command line argument that is going to be the number of bitcoins here n. So this command line argument has to be a number and it cannot be a string like cat, dag, do, cat, dog or anything like that. It has to be in either a whole number or a fractional number like 1, 1 1.2, 1.3 something like that. If the argument cannot be converted to a float, the program should exit via sys.exit with an error message. Next part of it says that we need to query the API, queries the API for the coin desk Bitcoin price index at this particular location, this something which is hyperlinked over here. Let me copy this hyperlink from here to, can I, how can I copy it? Okay, now I am able to copy it. Okay, I have copied it, <laughs> which returns a JSON object, object and uh, from there we have to extract the price of the Bitcoin as a float and we have to catch the exceptions like with any code like this if the uh, for example the website is not responding at the moment we have to give a, an error message to the user and finally we need to output the current cost of n number of bitcoins in the USD up to four decimal places using commas as a thousand separator I am already here into the Bitcoin uh, not already into Bitcoin directory I need to move to the Bitcoin directory and let me close this stuff so that we have got everything here first of all we need to install the request we can install it using pip install request so let me very quickly write here at the terminal pip install requests it should already be installed into my system but still I am installing could not match okay it is saying defaulting to the installation normal site package is not right table could not find a version but anyway it is already installed into my system so I am not going to give a, a, a much of a thought here yeah we can straight away jump into writing the code first of all I am going to import sys library I will explain why in a minute and then I am going to import requests I am importing sys library because we need to as per the requirement of this program we have to exit the program in case of invalid input using sys via exit if you see it over here with an error message that is why requests I have installed because I need to request this particular URL before I write any further program I would be going a little down and I am first of all before writing any type of validation I am just going to extract the Bitcoin price using the API that is given over here or the link that is given over here so I am going to create a variable called R and I am going to store the response from this particular hyperlink here if I I am going to convert it into a JSON object so response R dot JSON I am just putting a line between these two outputs so that it is clear so this part is our in response to this because of line 7 now this is the part USD we are getting as a result of line number 9 we have got Bitcoin price now that we have extracted the BPI part that is this whole part we have extracted which is coming over here I have very deliberately put a, an extra print statement to create a line between these two now our next task is to extract only the USD part and finally we have to extract the codes rates in USD so I am going to write here USD clear the terminal now here you can see out of the BPI part this whole part which is comprising even of uh, USD British pound and euro we are getting here only the code rates in USD now the next part is to find uh, pick out this rate float so let me copy it and put it over here now if we 
clear if i clear the terminal and run the program again now we are getting only the rate float which is the usd rate here now, where it is usd rate float here this is the part that we are interested in so we have finally extracted it so now i can get rid of this line called print response i do not need it neither do i need this part and neither do i need this line here yeah now that we have uh, got the bitcoin price we have to calculate the total bitcoin price so for if the user has entered just one bitcoin then of course it is going to be the same as 67395 and 4424 but if the user has entered 1.2 1.5 or 2 then we need to multiply it by the number of bitcoins this rate need to be multiplied by the number of bitcoins so i am going to create another variable here which is called total amount is equal to bitcoin price and i am going to multiply it by value i am creating a i will be creating a variable called value somewhere up here when i start with the validation so bear with me for the moment and finally we have to print it using a f string and it must be prefixed with the dollar sign so that is what i am going to do now so here let me put here to total amount then dot four f so that is my to total amount in the form of bitcoin so for example if i run this program again uh, okay value is not defined so if i am going to put here just one for the time being i should be getting something called here you see it is nicely formatted as per the requirement of the cs50 it should be something like this if we go to the demo video here you see prefix with dollar thousand separator and four places after decimal this is what exactly we are getting here okay i am going to replace one again with value a variable that i am going to create a little right now now it is time to go through all the validations so the first validation is that i am going to check if length of the syst dot arg v is equal to equal to 2 only then i am going to proceed otherwise i am not going to proceed i will have to throw some error message when i say length of sys dot arg v must be equal to 2 what i mean is that python here is the interpreter if i am right if i am trying to run this program this is our sys dot arg v at zero index and here if i put something like that 1.2 it is going to be at index 1 so the total length of the command line argument is now 2 including bitcoin dot pi at 1 and 1.2 at 2 so try i am going to write here value something which we define here value now i have i am defining this here value is equal to sys dot arg v and we at what position this 1.2 is it is at position number one and we have to convert it into a float because not everybody is rich enough to buy whole number of bitcoins like one to somebody there are many people who prefer to buy just tenth part of a bitcoin or hundredth part of a bitcoin or thousandth part of thousandth part of the bitcoin so that is it so now if it fails here if it is not a number for example if somebody comes here and write here cat then we have to throw an value error here so i am going to write here print command line argument is not a number this is what exactly written here in the demo video let me copy this line because i am going to use this also very soon so now we are done with one validation and we have to exit using sys.exit and i am going to write here one i am not leaving it alone why if you check this python uh, official documentation what does it say is that about sys.exit is that if it is an integer zero is considered successful termination and any non-zero value is considered abnormal termination by shells 
and like most uh, systems require it to be in the range of 0 to 127 okay forget about that thing so when we are not putting anything in the previous programs we have not put anything inside sys.exit we have written something like this so that was a successful termination of the program but here we are not getting the input as per the program requirement so it is an abnormal termination we are exiting the program in the middle in the middle so this is dot exit one now one part of the validation is done second part of the validation we have to do here is that we have which we have yet not done is that here it is expect expects the user to specify a command line argument the number of arguments number of bitcoins n which they would like to buy so if what does it mean is that we have done this part but we have to we have yet not validated if user does not enter any command line argument for example like here in this python bitcoin write dot py no argument so we have to take care of that so i am going to write here where is my if okay else I am going to print here missing command line argument and then again I am going to use this dot exit one so this is we are, we are done here next part is still we are what we are left to address is that if the website is down and it is not responding where it is here this part so we have to take care of this part as well so let me let what I am going to do here is that whatever the code that I wrote earlier, I am going to put it again into a try and accept block. I have already copied it, so why I am writing it again? Except print website not responding. please try later let's keep it like this now i think we are done with the program we can uh, i missed here the end quote so now if i try to run the program now here we are giving a gibberish the cat here the argument here it is not a number so it should throw an error command line argument is not a number it is throwing me an error if i try to run without a command line argument missing command line argument here you see if i write here 1.2 i am still getting command line not a number why let us check it out mm. got the reason for the error here i have written the wrong spelling here it should have been i have written a r v it should have been a R G V. Now I believe I should be able to run this program. Okay, here you see it is nicely formatted and printed. If I try to run it with something like that 1.2, it is going to give me the here. The rates we will not be match over here with the what is given into the demo video or at the bottom. Reason being Bitcoin prices are very dynamic and it is changing each and every minute. Therefore, I am straight away jumping into the CS50 checks. Let me copy here this particular line of code and jump to here and run it. By the time it is fetching the results, I am hoping everything to be in green. I have been publishing videos on my YouTube channel for Python basics as well, like strings, sets, tuples, lists, dictionaries, and their associated methods. And I am planning to come with a more such videos in the future i will share the link of the python basic playlist also into the description box you can go and check it out so here everything is in green so our program is all good and we are good to submit if you like this video consider giving it a like subscribe to my channel and share it with your friends and by the way i have already published solution videos for week zero problems at week zero one two and three and the remaining problems from the week 4 or problem set 4 you can i will share the link of uh, cs50 playlist also into the description box you can go and check it out till that time happy coding